Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing a watch made from 2005 to 2011, a relatively short time frame during which the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak 15300 was made, and this is the 15300 ST. The watch is 39 millimeters in diameter, 9.4 millimeters thick from lug to lug, it measures 49.2 millimeters, and from end length to end length, the total distance across the wrist is 52.8 millimeters. On my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, the traditional 39 millimeter Royal Oak size is a better match than the later 41. So this watch sits low enough to easily slide beneath the cuff, and I can recommend it for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference, something I could not say of the larger case. Now the watch is very comfortable and handsomely made. A big part of what you pay for when you buy a Royal Oak is finishing of metal. And you can see this one is so sharp and undiminished as to appear to have never been polished. Taking a quick look at the bracelet, I should note that these bracelets take by themselves, absent case and bezel, about 9 to 11 hours to hand finish, and that is all of the individual pieces. You see those bevels? You see the polished contrast with satin? All of that is done manually. The tolerances are so tight that when I push the links together, I can see that they slope down and taper, but I cannot feel the step down from link to link. We have removable links fixed by screws, and we have a double deployment clasp here, an older clasp design at AP. You have a logo on each side, AP, AP. It closes sequentially with the logo closing second, and it has twin trigger release. You can see internally the clasp has polish, satination, and media blasting. It is a secure clasp appropriate for a sports watch. The bracelet is fixed to the case using screws and bars, an age-old assembly method that's been part of the Royal Oak since the original in 1972. It's more secure than spring bars, and it's welcome here. We have a screw-down crown, 50 meters water-resistant with a screw-down crown and a 50-meter rating. This watch is suitable for surface swimming. Note the crown is hexagonal. That to match the bolts that sit within the bezel. The bolts are made of white gold, and you can see they're slightly recessed, which attests to the condition of the bezel. When these start to get polished down or worn, the bolts start to get flush with the bezel. Not the case here. Now, the bezel, in an octagonal rounded form, was inspired by a vintage diving helmet. That's where Royal Oak designer Gerald Genta drew his inspiration. You can see the outermost face is actually satinated, then the large flanking profile is polished, and then the top has vertical satination. The dial is the Grand Tapisserie. It is the large hobnail cut on a pantograph lathe, which is a 19th century engine, and a very old-fashioned way to make a dial. It has 20,000 little tiny ridges that run over and between the larger hobnails, and then it's galvanized black. Back when this watch was made, the dials would have been created by Sternfrer. After 2012, they were made in-house by Audemars Piguet. Quality is equal. It's just fun to know that your dial would have been made by a company descended from the dial maker that originally bought Patek Philippe back in the 1930s, or I should say at least the Stern family of Sternfrer certainly bought Patek Philippe. Now, the hands, as well as the logo and the indices, white gold to resist discoloration or tarnishing over time. As you can see, the watch is quite well loomed. And it includes two subsidiary setting modes, one of which is hacking or stop seconds. The watch also includes a quick set system for the date if you want to rapidly reset. One of the nice things about these uh, larger production, I should say mainstream 15300, 39 millimeter watches as compared to the jumbo, these have center seconds, but also compared to the jumbo, these have a date quick set. Now, again, it's the same size case, but this is a much more volume-oriented model than the jumbo. It's more durable, more water-resistant, and it has a more sophisticated manufacture movement. On the reverse side, you can see Audemars Piguet caliber 3120. Let's see if we can get a better view and some more light here. Automatic winding with bi-directional action. It has ceramic rotor bearings for improved efficiency and reduced maintenance needs. The rotor features the coats of arms of the Audemars and Piguet family. Family to remind you that since 1875, Audemars Piguet is the oldest family-owned and run watchmaker in Switzerland. We have a 60-hour power reserve, stop seconds, quick set date. We have a full balance bridge and almost a batwing profile. We have a free-sprung gyromax style balance for precise adjustment and resistance to shock. And it beats away 21,600 vibrations per hour in this movement, which pivots on 40 joules. And as you can see, it features a handsome combination of both manual and mechanical finishing. It's a medley with a little bit of both.
like you'd find on an F.P. Journe timepiece, and certainly befitting the image of Audemars Piguet. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.